I think overall we battled physically and mentally with executing on both sides of the basketball, you know, handle some adversity. When they made runs, big shots, we put them at the free throw line 12 times in the first half. Uh, I never thought that uh, we got rattled and shrunk. You know, we uh, kind of rose to the occasion. Obviously, one of the best teams in the league, they got a little bit momentum, but I'm proud of some of the things that we did in terms of foul trouble. You know, not the players that are injured, but Jeanette Poland's been ill for a few days. Jasmine Wathley's ill. Just the domino effect of that, that you guys probably don't even know. And, and you don't have to print that, but that's the type of battling I'm talking about. Sometimes people think it's always physical, but sometimes you have to battle your head, your heart, because now you're playing a different position against the best team in the world. So I appreciate that. Don't misunderstand me. Coaches aren't ever satisfied with the loss. Uh, but I think the category on the stat sheet, we didn't win the battle on the boards. Uh, we were minus one. And that's moving in the right direction. And I think if we bring that same intensity uh, for Saturday, uh, we will be happy with the results. Coach, obviously a totally different outcome than the last time you played them. Did you say your team was you know, kind of itching to get another crack at them to make up for what happened just a couple, not too long ago? Yeah, you know, they're pros and they're prideful, and that was an embarrassing game. Uh, I'm not someone that does not speak of the elephant in the room. I walked in the pregame and I said 59. That's how many we lost by. 37. That was the run. You know, and mine is 22, the last game out on the boards. And that's reminders because it's not about. Um, kicking somebody when they're down. It's just reminders because I know they're better than that. They knew that, and I thought they showed that today. Dupree is just that savvy vet, <laughs> and she brings a comfort to others. And that fuels Wheeler, who just jumping at the bit. You know, she's ready to go after somebody. Um, and she was embarrassed last time we played. She understands that a lot of responsibility is on her. We have people down, and I think all she kept talking about was getting off to a good start. And not necessarily her shot, but then it ended up being her shot. So I think those are two key people for us as we you know, finish it up. So in the past, rookies have come into the fever knowing that they've been to the playoffs, that they have a certain standard to uphold. How do you think it's gonna change the mindset of the team, especially the younger players moving forward now that they have something to kind of redeem themselves from? Yeah, that. Um, younger players, the good thing about young players is that they don't know any better. Uh, and they're excited with just the opportunity. So then you have that extra layer that the vets will remind them of. This is not the norm. So that'll probably fuel their off-season schedule in terms of where they play, how they play, and improving their game. So I think that'll be something positive because we have a good group of young players. The message is rest tonight, recover, rejuvenate tomorrow, and bring the same focus, energy, and execution on Saturday uh, against the San Antonio team that's trying to make strides just like we are. Um, they beat us twice, uh, and the message is make sure we bring that energy so we can leave it with a uh, good taste in our mouth to end the season.